Welcome back. We've now finished our fine edit mm -hmm. of the uh, first scene and the second scene. And what we want to do now is not necessarily do color grading, but that because that's not what this course is about. It's about creative editing. But we do want to mess with the look a little bit. Mm -hmm. And the reason being? Well, when I show it to the director, the producer, I don't want them to be distracted by you know a shot that might not match or in some cases it might eventually have a warmer feel so i just kind of want to apply some kind of a look broadly just to give it a flavor ah i see okay that that sounds great so a lot of editors do do that i know i'm working in different places editors will go in and do some basic you know looks and mm -hmm. color grades or what have you to, to again to sell it to uh the producer or whatever account executive uh is in the room at the time i so yeah i i think I think it'll be great. So, so we need to combine the two clips into a single timeline. Right. We need to put them in one timeline. And there's a couple ways you can do that. You can create what's called a compound clip, which is kind of putting the clips into a container, which will look like a clip, and then bringing that into the timeline. So you'll end up with two clips in your timeline, the, you know, the cupcake shot and then the And then you apply shot. the look to the compound clips? Yes. But the problem is you really can't see what's inside without stepping inside the clip, and it becomes cumbersome. Right. So you're not going to do I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'm so gonna, you have a better method I have a, of I have a better way. I think it's a little more efficient and a little more flexible. Excellent. So, so the first thing we want to do is uh, we're going to need to create a, a compound clip. No. I'm sorry. We're going to need to create a new project. Got it. I'm so into compound clips that we were talking about a new project. We're going to do that by hitting Command N. We'll call it Combined. Press OK. We now have a clean slate, and we want to put the two parts in. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to select Cupcake Rough Cut 3. Open it up. Select everything with Command A. Copy it with Command C. And now I'm going to go back into our combined project that we created and simply paste it, Command V. Easy. Now I'm going to make sure my playhead is at the end. So I'll hit Function, right arrow. And now I want to open up the Goth Girl. So that's uh, Rough Cut 2, Goth Rough Cut 2. Again, do the same thing, Command A, select all, Command C, copy, go to combined, and hit Command V to paste. Easy. Easy. And now I'm ready to be now able you don't to have modify. Right. All your clips are there. Yes. And I can modify it, and life is good. Wow. Now, we were talking that there's a couple of things I want to fix, and, and the one that jumps out, you know, I'm not going to color grade, but there is a dramatically off-color shot, okay. and that's the GoPro shot because of in the, the oven, camera. The oven yeah, in the oven In the oven shot. And so... It's right over here. It's uh, right after she does the batter. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, a little more control. So you can see that it's very whitish, bluish. Yeah. And I want to be able to match that to the way the colors look in the other shots. You know, there's a, a certain hue to it, an amount of saturation, luminance, all the things that will make up the certain look for the rest of the show. Got it. So I need to select a clip that I wanted to emulate. That I want to match. Sure. And I can do that. Select the clip that we want to match. Choose match color. And now I get to skim through and pick a frame of video that I want it to emulate. And I can go through and try to find something that has a certain feel to it. Sometimes you'll pick the immediate preceding shot. In this case, it doesn't have a golden feel to it. So I'm going to continue to skim through and, and choose a frame that I think has that golden value. Yeah, that one definitely it. looks gold and warm, has a warm feel to it. And I can test it. I can click on it. It will automatically apply that. And you see it. It really matches well. So There's you're getting kind of a preview image on the right side. Say, hey, this is what it's going to look like with the values from that particular frame applied. Exactly. And if I didn't like it, I could continue to click because I don't commit until I hit the, the apply match. I see. So it's perfect. We're going to hit the apply match. And you see that it's now applied that wow, that's, look and feel wow, to this click, clip. What, almost one click color correction. Yeah, this is great. It works most of the time. There are times that it you'll click and it gets it wrong. You know, it's, it's, it's magic, but not super magic. It's pretty so amazing we're to pretty me. good. You can toggle it on and off in the inspector if you wanted to, uh, to show the producer Before director what a good job you've done. <laughs> so it's just kind of nice. Now, the next thing I may want to do is... Can, I, can we play those shots back to back? Just oh, to absolutely. So how they... I want to see how they feel. Very nice. You like that? Yeah. Now, we talked earlier about using color to create a mood. Now, again, 
I just want to put something on quickly. I just want to warm it up per se, mm -hmm. uh, add a little more gold to the, the image, but I don't want to put it on every single clip in case I need to change it. It's a lot of work. Right. So I'm going to take advantage of something called an adjustment layer. And you may have heard of adjustment layers in other programs, Photoshop and After Effects. After Effects, yeah. And in Final Cut, they don't have an adjustment layer. One can build one. Well, when you're saying they don't have one, you're saying there's not an adjustment layer built in as an effect in the browser, exactly. in the effects browser. So um, where are you going to get this? Well, there are third party, a lot of third party effects. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm cheating here. I'm using one of your effects. What are uh, the... Ripple Tools 1 and 2 has a couple effects I really like. And because I'm editing, I just want to be quick. I don't want to go and become a graphic designer, color corrector person. I, I like to... Just I'm an editor. I want to press the button and have it look good. I understand. Just like match color. Exactly. So in uh, Ripple Tools, there is uh, a couple of... There's an adjustment layer. You would find it by going to not the effects... Browser. browser, but to the title browser. And this was pretty clever in its design. Because it's a title, I can put it above my clips and it affects what's below it. Like, wow. So the adjustment layer is, I think if um, off camera you were telling me that adjustment layer is like a piece of glass. It's like a piece of glass. In other words, I can do everything to the to all my clips, but then if I sandwich them between a piece of glass and start putting like a color change on the glass, it affects everything below it. Mm. And the cool thing is I can modify that without having to modify each individual right. clip or even turn it off. That's fantastic. So Can't this wait. is cool. Yeah. And so here we have RT adjustment layer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to select it. Let me go ahead and hit Shift Z to make sure I have the beginning of my show. I want to be able you to You want to do it at the beginning. Put, yes, put I want to put a gold feel mm -hmm. just to, you know, the head of the show. Okay. So I'm going to grab the adjustment layer. I'm going to just drop it on there. It has a, a, a certain length, but you can stretch this out as long as you need. So you can stretch it over the whole right, show so if you wanted it, to. Exactly. But in this case, maybe I just want to put it over the front half right. just to kind of yeah. give everything a nice warm feeling. Okay. So with the adjustment layer on top, I'm going to simply click on it to select it. Because it's a title, I have all the same controls in my inspector that I would if it was just a regular clip. But the cool thing is, it works on everything below it. That's so cool. It's very cool, yeah. and it's very fast. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the inspector. And I'm going to go directly, I'm going to hop into this area for color correction. We're not going deep into color correction, but I'm going to look at the color board. I just want to change things a little bit. So I well, have... Your play it is not on the shot that you oh, want. Oh, yeah, let so me move it over so we can see it. it over there. Uh, I get kind of enthusiastic, yeah. and sometimes yeah. I don't look down. This is a good shot, as an example. It, it, it's beautiful, but it needs a little bit of gold, or a little bit of yellow, if you want. And I can go ahead and add color globally, but I find that I like the blacks to stay black. As much as possible. As much as possible. Yeah. And sometimes even my whites to stay as pure as possible. So for now, we're just going to grab the mid-range, and I'm going to just drag it over here and put it above in the yellow area. And as I move it up, it saturates yeah. it, with it with yellow. Yes. I don't want to go crazy. I don't want them to all look at this and say, why is it jaundiced? Right. But just a little subtlety is great. And if we go over here to the clips, I can just, as you notice as I float this over, they ha all have that like goldish tint. And it's quick, it's efficient, and if my director or producer doesn't like it, I can simply select it and turn off the visibility. I just hit the V key. Wow. Turns it off, and now I can see what it looks like by itself. It, it's really efficient, it's quick, and non-destructive. Mm -hmm. And adjustment layers can be used for color, you can put on maybe a blur filter if you want to make something black and white. It, they're very powerful.